Today I've been thinking about my 7S lithium ion pack which uh, gets charged by this PWM lead acid solar charge controller um, but most specifically I've been thinking about this the DC to DC converter on the load output um, it takes the 24 volts well roughly I think it's there you go 27.4 volts currently uh, pretty much fully charged and it takes it down to 12 volts so that I can use uh, that power on the lights on the outside of my shed which are all 12 volts but I was wondering whether this LM2596 book converter was the most efficient option for uh, converting the 24 down to 12 volts now the lights on the outside of my shed at their maximum output use about 20 watts of power so for this test I'm going to use this 20 watt 12 volt lamp here on the output side of the circuit and we'll compare the measurements here on the input and the output and we'll see what we get. So on the left hand side we've got the input and it's currently about 27.4 volts just a shy under and the uh, boost converter itself is using about 12 milliamps which isn't too bad uh, under no load and on the output i've got almost exactly 12 volts so the idea is i'm going to plug in my load to the output and then i'm going to allow that to settle for a moment so on the input at 27 volts we can see we've got 0.82 amps so 820 milliamps there being drawn, 22.2 watts. And on the output, we've got 11.9 volts. It's dropped slightly, uh, 1.58 amps, and that's 18.87 watts. So uh, let's write that down. The LM2596 uh, in, out, so 22.11 and out we've got 18.82 excellent now the next one to look at is a new one I've not used before so let's get it open and uh, this one comes in a nice metal box which will be handy uh, when we're looking to mount this on the board for the converter and it's also an adjustable one here with the potentiometer hidden through that hole in fact there's two potentiometers ah okay so we've got voltage adjust on this side and uh, that one isn't marked on the input side um, but hopefully that will become a parent and uh, this is a book boost converter constant current constant voltage so actually this one can go above and below the input voltage it's a 5 amp unit uh, and it's model TS IPS V01. So let's put some connectors on here and set it up. Right now, with the Tuzo Tech 5 amp boost book converter in, uh, 27.3 volts on the input and uh, 20 volts on the output. So let's find the voltage adjustment. Uh, it doesn't seem to be that one it must be this one there we go so we'll set it to exactly 12 volts and with that now set to 12.04 volts let's plug in my 20 watt load once more and it's not lighting up presumably the current has been reduced there we go let's turn that up the lamp is now nice and bright so 22.38 watts on the input and 18.97 on the output let's write that down now the next little DC to DC converter has probably going to struggle to be the most efficient because it's got this LCD with a backlight running all the time, that sort of thing. I'm going to refer to it as the winner's DC to DC converter because that's the branding there on the screen. Uh, so I need to remember how to change the voltage. And yes, we simply press this button here 
So if I set this to 12 volts, it's gone a little bit beyond there. 12.3, 12.4. And 12.1, 12 volts. But actually now I look at it on the uh, porter power meter here, it's actually outputting 14.16 volts. So uh, to be fair, we'll put this down here until we see 12 volts on the porter power. So with the winner's DC to DC converter set to 10.2 volts, what we're actually seeing on the output is that 12 volts. I wonder if that will change under load. Let's plug in my load. So on the input here we can see 20.78 watts and on the output we've got 18.51. And the final DC to DC converter I want to look at today is this and it's a potted uh, device inside this heatsink and uh, it can claim 60 watts here uh, 24 volts in and uh, 12 volts 5 amps maximum output well yeah that adds up to 60 watts so the input is the red and black hopefully it's going to be happy with my 27 volts and the output is well exactly 12 volts that's superb so let's plug in the load Right then, so on the input we've got 19.8 watts, and on the output we've got 18.99 watts. Let me note that down. So these are all the results for the different DC to DC converters, and uh, don't ask me where my pen disappeared to, I've had to find another one. But I said I wanted to work out the efficiency, didn't I? And uh, all we're seeing here are the results of the watts coming in and the watts going out, so let's work out the efficiency. So the efficiency uh, is the calculation watts out divided by watts in uh, times 100 to get a percentage. So let's work out the sums. And the results are in. Actually, the LM2596, which I've been using for almost a year now, is not the most efficient. Um, the Tuzotec is actually the least efficient but remember it is a book boost converter so it's doing two jobs all at the same time so that's not surprising 84.8 percent there the winners uh, has done surprisingly well even though it's powering that lcd screen and the backlight um, it got to 89.1 percent so uh, this was doing really well just a shame the voltage on that readout uh, wasn't very accurate and therefore it's not terribly useful but the best efficient the most efficient sorry i should say was the cpt uh, this quite high power uh, output and uh, it's got a heat sink on it and uh, it seems pretty well made i'm guessing it's all potted inside that heat sink at 95.9 percent i'm ecstatic with that efficiency so this has been a really interesting experiment for me. We talk about more efficient solar charge controllers, more efficient panels quite often, but we don't talk about using that energy in the most efficient way afterwards. I chose a 24 volt lithium pack simply because I don't think that 12 volt lithium packs work. However, when I have to convert that 24 volts down to 12 volts, I do want to try and do it in the most efficient way possible. And as it turns out, this CPT book converter does that in the most efficient manner for me. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you have, give me a thumbs up, subscribe down below, comment if you can, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.